Yo, what's going on? Welcome to episode eight. So one week of the Twisted League is now over. Uh, we have 5.5k points and here's what the stats are looking like. So right now I'm just making oak planks because once again, I'm recording this at nighttime as I'm editing the previous video right now. So I'll just show you what I'm doing right now. So I'm making these oak planks and then depositing them all into this uh, deposit box over here and then repeating this process. We made over 600k last video from all the clue scrolls and then alking all the rune items that we got from there because I do eventually want to get up fletching and construction and those are two very expensive skills for Iron Man to train up. Um, so yeah, here's the stats again. I'm just gonna be AFKing for the next few hours. Once we start running low on money, I'll switch over to just probably chopping willows and making those into arrow shafts for fletching. Oh right, because we have Treasure Seeker, we'll be getting uh, clue things 10 times more often from skilling activities. But that's another very nice perk. So while I'm AFK tonight, hopefully we uh, stack up a few of these. Sorry, by the way, I meant to switch into the thieving bag here. I feel like we uh, really blend in very well into the aesthetic of the woodcutting guild. We just got 75 woodcutting, which is the level for magic logs. And there's either a league or a diary task or maybe one or the other or both uh, that requires chopping a magic log somewhere. So we'll get around to that eventually, but yeah, 75. Day number eight, the official start of week two now. So I've spent uh, all of last night here at the Woodcutting Guild just chopping oaks for planks and then also fletching arrow shaft. Uh, so we got to 78 woodcutting and 69 fletching. So what do I want to do today? I think I want to make some more money right now. Let's do hard clues. Hopefully it's not too crowded at all the wizard spots because it is early morning right now. Uh, how many clues do we get actually? Okay, cool. Oh yeah, after the farm run, of course. Yo, wait a sec. That was 25 farming contracts complete. Let me check. Oh, it's only 10 points. All right, farm run's done. You can see the cash check is running pretty low now. Um, I did save a bit though because I need to buy more soul runes because the Kretz Memoirs is almost dead. And we need soul runes for teleporting around too. And they're uh, over 400 GP each. Just buy it off the GE, dumb YouTuber. Stop milking the content. All right, very uh, unconventional way to get it. Doing a clue scroll, but uh, there's 80 hit points which is 100 leak points. So out of that little fletching grind, we did get 69 fletching, which is the requirement to make the rune crossbow. Yeah, right there, but uh, we did get the rune crossbow from that one elite clue, so we don't have to worry about that. Now, rune crossbow is better than magic shortbow, especially the magic shortbow unimbued. But the main reason why I'm using the magic shortbow with the broad arrows is because broad arrows give a lot more XP than making broad bolts does. For uh, the fletching XP, that is. Yo, so this dude was walking around, so you know I had to call them out on it. There actually is a way to have two of these Cerdo and Wizards spawn at once. The other person has to lure the first wizard really far away, and the second person can spawn a wizard. I believe if either of them dies, another person can spawn one, no matter which one dies, I think is how it works, maybe. But yeah, hopefully this gets patched with this week's update, I would hope. Okay, you can see right here we have our 10 hard caskets, so let's see the money. You know, all the usual stuff, alcables, uh, natures, laws, uniques. Okay, and the next one will be 25, which will be a 50-point task right there. Ooh, that's really good. That is an upgrade over the Black Dehyde Chaps, because that has a plus one pair bonus. Let's keep going. Ooh, the Fashion Scape. Not as cool as the Robin Hood hat, but still pretty cool. All right, let me clear out the inventory. Okay. All right. Okay. Yes, Laws, Alcables. That's all we need, right? That's all we care about. We're gonna go out that now. We have a under 100K cash stack at the moment as well. <laughs> Technically under 100K. Oh, I actually just looked up the task. That was actually a 100 point task. So even better. All right, and the cash stack is now up to 621K. Uh, but let's go back to Konar now and I will tell you what we're gonna be doing. Okay, so we currently have how many Slayer points? Uh, sick. Okay, we have no Slayer points right now. I want to unlock, uh, where is it? Oh, right here, Bigger and Badder. I want to unlock Superiors, which cost 150 Slayer points. So we're going to go back to Hill Giants and do a few more tasks. We are coming up on the 20 task point streak, so should only be like three or four tasks, I think. Oh, let's buy some more broad arrowheads while we're here too, because now we got a lot of money to buy these. If I buy them just one at a time, the price won't go up because it respawns so fast. I just teleport away without grabbing a task. Honestly, I think I like the green aesthetic more anyways than the black dehyde aesthetic. Hopefully we get that Guthix top at some point. That would be insane. 69 Slayer, and if you think that's funny, you need to take a good look at yourself and grow up, kid. And there is 70 fletching, not a task, but kind of a cool level milestone. Okay, that was 20 tasks, which gave us 90 points, but not quite enough. One more task. The ground may be littered with arrows, but my heart is littered 
with Slayer points. So we have 150 points now. Let's go unlock superiors and then we don't have to go back to hill giants because we have the main things unlocked. They were good for prayer XP, I suppose. We got to 65 actually. We just got 65. Um, but it's on to bigger and better things. Um, I guess specifically things that have superiors. I think we'll go for dust devils first because dust devils have a lot of alkable drops and I want to make a lot of money. I haven't straight up said this yet, but the amount of money that we'll need for 99 fletching and 99 construction combined uh, should be about 6 mil if my calculations are correct. So I guess that's like something we'll be passively working towards. Yeah, here we go. Bigger and badder. We can now unlock superiors and there's quite a few tasks that involve superiors like killing a certain amount of superiors and like equipping a dust bell staff, equipping a mist bell staff, stuff like that. So first task I want to do here now though, since we have superiors unlocked, is dust devils. Let's make some money. Oh yeah, we got the brimstone key as well from that last task. Let's see what we get. Room plate body. Good. Uh, I just realized it could be really crowded. I hope it's not. Mm. Okay, it's not too bad. There's actually a safe spot method you could do where you can run around and go to that side and safe spot them from over here. I've seen people do that before, um, but the only issue is you gotta run around if you wanna grab your drop. So um, I'll see how much damage they do to me. I might just pray flick here if they're doing a lot. Of oh crap. <laughs> I'm a freaking idiot. <laughs> I may as well do a suicide because my stats aren't gonna be restored anytime soon. I have to hop worlds though. I can't let that guy see me again. <laughs> Luckily, I do already have the face mask in the bank from when we were uh, mining sulfur. Unfortunately, this means I can't flex the robin hat anymore. I mean, I could, but I'll just die over and over. And this ain't UIM, bruh. Okay, I already found a safe spot. I just got back here. You can just trap them on the corner here and just AFK the whole time. That's to make this task a lot easier than it would have been otherwise. Hey, we just got red dehyde vams. That is our new best uh, ranged glove attack slot thing. Uh, because we don't have black dehyde vams yet, and we haven't gotten any bracers from clues. But the chasing gloves are still better for melee because they have that strength bonus. Soul runes, yes, this is going to be a really good drop. Uh, let me show you the drop table, actually. Alright, here's the Dust Devils drop table. Uh, this is their rune drop table, and you can see they have two different drops for soul runes. There's a 20 drop, one out of 32, and a 50 drop, one out of 128. And there are a lot of spells on the Archaea spellbook that involve soul runes. So that'd be a really good drop. The dragon chain body would be best in slot for melee uh, body slot, I believe. And you can see this is just like their alkables drop table, I guess you could call it. Uh, hopefully you get those black eyed vams for the upgrade though. You can just see overall it's really good. They have like noted bars for smithing. Yeah. Okay, wait, I just saw this on the wiki right now. I swear I didn't look at the wiki before. I just came up with that myself. They're copying me, okay? <laughs> I thought of it first. So to lure any of the dust devils, you just stand on this square right here and then run over to this square and it'll always be safe spotted. See how easy it is. And a little kind of milestone 70 Slayer. We unlock nothing that we could actually do. Yes, first superior. And we just safe spot it from right over here. I'm excited to see the big XP drop, the, the Slayer XP drop, because you get a lot of XP from these. We literally just got 71 Slayer. So let's see uh, how far into the level we get. Let's see the big XP drop, 30K XP, wow. And uh, oh, that's a task too. Let me check the points for that. That was a massive. 10 point task, 85 ranged. Yes, the one out of 128 dream, the black dehyde van braces, the upgrades. And we have one kill left on task as well. So that uh, was very, very well timed. All right, last kill the task right there and completing the dust devil task was 10 points for the league tasks. And then here's all the loot that we got from uh, this task. Uh, so it's probably about 200K in alcohols or something plus the brim key, so. It's pretty good, pretty good. The soul rune stack is also looking very healthy right now. Unfortunately, they don't drop clues though, but that's okay. You know, dust devils are pretty chill. Let's go back to dust devils again. I want to do a jellies task, but I also want to have enough points for a skip in case I do get the mithril boots drop or they're just not fun to do. Uh, and we don't have enough points for a skip right now. Big boy giving us 72 slayer and Nothing from it, but a lot of XP. I'm so not used to picking up these Dark Totem pieces because on a UIM, it's not very convenient to do Skatizo. Um, but because we could use a bank on this account, we could just keep them in there. Give me something good. Okay. Okay, that's the last kill of the task. And I just realized as I was here killing Dust Devils that we shouldn't be killing Dust Devils without chins. Like this is just really inefficient and there's no reason to do any chinable task without having chins. And probably I'd want investment too. Maybe prayer pots, but definitely would want to have vestment too. So probably won't be doing like a dust devil or neck reels task until we have chins. And because of that, 
I want to check out chins right now. We have 60 hunters so we can hunt the gray chins. There are no red chins in Zaya, but we can do gray chins, so. Hopefully it's not still crowded. Hopefully maybe the hype has died down a bit or people aren't at that stage in their accounts anymore where they're hunting chins. I don't know, we'll see. We also used up almost 1,500 broad arrows, so I'm glad I bought 5K. I'd only made 1.5K at the time and we're like almost out now, so. And it sure eats through them a lot. I know I've got a lot of stuff going on in my inventory right now, so. I brought the three taking stuff. Oh, it's out charges, dang. So I brought the three ticking stuff just in case I want a three tick. I probably won't, but I've actually never tried three ticking chins. The only thing I know how to three tick that I have three tick before is uh, for fishing. So maybe we'll test that out. And then I have some arrows to make and I want to recharge the memoir. So I have this stuff here to recharge it. And I also have my Robin Hood outfit on. So that way the chins won't see me and they won't run away because that's how it works, right? Oh no. <laughs> Oh, I've made a very, very bad decision trying to come here. <laughs> okay, is every world just going to be like this? Uh, mm. Okay, we'll come back here eventually. We're not going to do this right now, though. We'll come back, though. <laughs> yeah, I should have expected that. Uh, I'll figure out something else to do. Uh, let's go out all the stuff we just got from those Dust Devil tasks. Okay, we're ending off with 700k now. I want to steal from the stone chest, and for that we need 64 thieving. Uh, and I want to do that because I want more either Xerix Talismans or at the very least Lizardman things, so that way we can charge our Talisman that we have now uh, for more teleports. So we're just going to thieve the fruit stalls for however long it takes for 64, and then head on over to the stone chest. Yeah, we stopped exactly at 60 because I want uh, those league points, so yeah, 60 to 64. One more and 64 thieving. Let's get set up for the stone chest now. Okay, so right here is the location of where we're going to to thieve the stone chest. Uh, it's pretty close to the Battlefront teleport. You could run straight there, or the Shazian teleport, run to the docks and take it up over here. And I've never actually done this method before. Um, I have been here before for shamans on other accounts, but I've never uh, stolen from stone chest before. So I guess we'll figure it out as we go, but I see other people around over here. Oh yeah, I also have these with me so I could fletch because uh, you get kicked out every once in a while and then you have to run back. So while we're running, I'll just be making those, but let's try pick locking the stone chest. How much XP do we get? 2.8k XP each time we thieve this. Holy crap. When you get kicked out, sometimes those uh, shamans up there will poison you. And that's what we have the strange fruits for, because they cure poison. The Xerix Talisman from here is one out of 300, no matter what, that is not affected by the diary. And then there's a common drop of just Elizabeth things, which is one charge each for Xerix Talisman. So that's pretty good too. And then we also get that Zerishin fabric. So I'll just be crafting these as we get them to make various items and then drop them. They're not even worth alking. Oh, right, I need more pieces, but yeah. Uh, I should have brought a chisel too. Apparently, you can get gems here. And then here is the reason why we have the feathers and the arrow shafts. Ah, uh, yes. I feel like we're training so many skills at once right now. That's called being macro efficient. Yes, we got one. Okay, so we could dismantle that. Uh, and you get 100 fangs from that. Oh, that's so good. I see all these people here complaining. They're like level 80 and don't have any yet. I kind of feel bad. Apparently it helps to have a lockpick, but the only way to get lockpicks on Zaya is from like young implings or something. Uh, so unfortunately, we don't have that privilege yet to be able to use it. But I do eventually really want to get one uh, for the artifact stealing because there are quite a few tasks that involve stealing artifacts. So hopefully we'll see one of those imps flying by one of these days and snag a, a lockpick from it. Oh man, I so regret not thinking of doing this earlier, making the uh, headless arrows, because we spent a lot of time just running around while doing hard clues. But now going forward for the future, I will try to remember to bring these with. And there is... 70 thieving. I am more than satisfied with the fact we got 70 thieving plus over 100 charges for the Xerix Talisman. So we're going to move on from here. Uh, in the future, I think I'd only want to train thieving up through the artifacts because there's so many tasks for that. And then there's other ways to get Xerix Talismans or fangs for the Talisman, like from shamans and regular lizard men. And that's a lot of charges to last us for now. So let's head back to the bank and I'll tell you what's up. I feel like doing some easy clues right now because I do want to try to get a bob shirt. So later on, once we get the mystic robe bottom, we could do that one uh, elite clue step. And then along the way, I think I'll do some medium clues as well. Uh, because a lot of the steps intertwine or you kind of just pass by steps of the other clues So we'll lose some easy and some mediums kind of back-to-back or whatever There's that one medium clue that requires the Addy plate body plate legs and full helm and right now we have the full helm and the plate body We just need the Addy plate leg. So that's what we'll be looking for from the mediums I don't want to have to keep dropping that step because we don't have it I don't feel like killing uh, greater demons for them either And of course this whole time I will be fletching too because you know no XP waste, right? 
There's a 75 fletching, a little check-in kind of, sort of. All right, that'll be the last clue for today. I know 12 is a really weird number. I just wanted to go till I ran out of feathers and we're pretty much out now. So let's go to the bank and open these up and hopefully get a bob shirt and hopefully get some anti plate legs. Okay, we'll start with the 12 easies. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> we got the bob shirt, yes. Uh, okay, so all this is worth it. And then I guess anything else you get is just bonus on top of that. Ooh. Yo, we're getting a lot of uniques right now. Holy crap. Wait, is that? That's the same set. Yo. Frick yeah, dude. This is really good. I guess you don't get a lot of runes from uh, easy clues. Probably just mediums and beyond. Never mind, actually. <laughs> Yo, that was... Dude, I'm so happy with that. Okay, let's just put everything on, I guess. Uh, th yeah, the, the helm and the shield and the cool hat and... I can't wear all this at once, but there's a lot of cool items here. Uh, and then the Bob shirt, of course. It has uh, Bob the cat on the back. That's why it's called the Bob shirt. When you ask her to send Bobs and you actually get it. Here's my beautiful clue tab. And now we're going to ruin it. It's a lot of random items there. I'll organize it later. Hey, well, apparently we finished our Gothics book. All right, then the five mediums. Ooh, okay. Master clue. Nice, nice. Okay. Ooh, headband, and then last one. All right, so we didn't get the, uh, huh, that's weird. Uh, we didn't get the uh, the Addy play legs, but that's okay. We'll get them. Maybe I'll do a Greer Demon Task tomorrow. We'll see. I'll see how I'm feeling. I guess we should put some of these uniques here on, though. Okay, well, there's all the leg like, stuff that we got. Oh, yeah, and the headband, too. All right, well, it's that time of day again to AFK, so I'm going to go set up to AFK and I'll see you when we're there. Ooh, we just saw this task too. That was a 50 point task, 10 medium clues. Okay, so let's go to Konar and grab a blood belts task. It's a lot of them. With our upgrade glove slot with these black van braces and our seemingly endless supply of arrows, I think going to uh, blood belts would be a good idea because I can AFK, we can get insult heads to train prayer with, we can get Slayer XP, and we can get a lot of hard clues because money is kind of one of the biggest things for me right now. I want to get a lot of money because I sort of kind of would like to get the construction cape really soon. Um, and that'll probably cost us like three mil. So we have a 700k cash stack at the moment. And beyond just the hard clues, uh, Blood Vaults drop a lot of alcohols too. Okay, it's actually really hard to find the world, but I managed to find one. But this is what the rest of my night is going to be looking like. Just standing here, ranging these Blood Vaults. So, uh, Here's what the stats are at the end of this video, and also let's collect the uh, the points here. We are at 5.5k, and now we are at almost 5.8k. So we can get too many points this video, but that's okay because we're in it for the long run. You know, we don't have to get a bunch of points right now. It's not like it matters until the end. That will wrap it up for this video, though. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I will see you again tomorrow.